place called, actually this is a very beautiful, spectacular waterfall called Deti Foss. You can't see it from here, but when you get over there, you get a full sense of the scale. And ironically, um, my last day of shooting is, will, is, completes the beginning of the film. Do you get that? Or did I said that the wrong way around. But anyway, uh, the beginning of the film will be uh, from this place. Um, and that happens to be the last day of shooting. Um, Ridley, it's, um, it's been 25 years since you directed a science fiction film, uh, Blade Runner. Maybe, maybe a couple of people here have heard of that movie. Um, wh why, why did it take you long, uh, so long to, to come back? Because I was, I was actually too busy doing other, other movies and exploring other genres. So frankly, I never actually thought about a science fiction Ex until I started to realize that actually there was something in the first of the first aliens that no one had ever answered, asked and put the question about. And it, for, in the next three aliens, still no exploration of that one big question. And I thought, well, that could be the centerpiece of what we've just completed. Um, that said, that is about the only DNA loosely applied to the original alien. Um, uh, we've gone in another complete di different direction, but in the last few minutes of the movie, you'll actually understand what I'm talking about. I certainly hope so. Um, uh, CG, computer generated... Uh, so do um, I, so do Fox. <laughs> Uh, CG is, um, has really been a big part of, um, uh, of movies as of late, big event movies. And I think that um, what you're doing, uh, yeah. first in Pinewood and now in Iceland, first off, you're shooting this film in 3D. Um, and secondly, you're not doing it with a lot of CG. You've act you're actually sh building these sets. Can you talk to us a little bit about uh, why you made those decisions and, and what it's been like for you shooting in 3D? Well, 3D um, has been a wonderful exercise, but you know, I was brought up as a camera operator, so it's really about lensing and all that kind of stuff. So, with the help I've had with a you know wonderful cameraman Darius and his technical team, it's been for me a pretty straightforward ride. That said, I'll never work with, without 3D again, even for small dialogue scenes. I love the whole process. I love it. it you know, 3D. It, it, uh, opens up the universe of even a small dialogue scene. So I've been very impressed with that. There's the actual effects thing. A great visual effects man who I did Blade Runner with, uh, uh, called Doug Trumbull, once said to me, if you can do it live, do it live. He said, you can, it's always better than anything else. That was like 28, 29 years ago. Um, and even though we've got marvelous digital uh, capabilities today, I would still say if you can do it live, do it live. First of all, it's cheaper. It is not less expensive to do digital. Uh, Ridley, are you a replicant? And if not, why did you leave origami shit on my chair all the time? I thought, I, I thought you were a fucking robot, actually. And I thought, you know, robots need to have origami to get the fucking heart started. Speaking, speaking of robots, there is a rumor about this movie that there is a robot in Prometheus. Is this, is this accurate? Will you confirm that here for us today? There may be two. Ah. There may be two. Ooh, snap. You know, I think ro robots and androids and replicants have actually become uh, so much part of the actual science fiction uh, scenario and landscape that th they're no longer unique. So what you've got to come up with, like in all challenges, whether you're writing a book or whether you're doing a movie or whether you're doing an opera, you've got to come up with those unique notions that make something fresh. And I think uh, this um, film I've honestly had a better time with in, than many years. Um, and partly because I've felt secure in having a terrific script from you. And that said, I want you to do the next one immediately. That's the only reason why I'm buttering you up. You're creep, okay? <laughs> um, and, and, and also, the, f the reason why the film actually has been a good time for me is 
I've worked with, the cast I've worked with on this particular film has been as good a time as I can remember. So uh, that's, that's two good reasons to go keep going.